a lot of artists fall in love with their own paintings and they take them to a certain level and then they aren't um, adventurous or brave enough to alter it and, and push it to another stage. For a painting to have depth and, uh, and richness, it needs to be pushed as far as it can go. Well, I've brought this painting up to the stage that it's at. It's very close to finished. What I'll probably do with it is live with it for a little while and then I may change it. I'll give myself permission to change it. This is the beauty of painting. I am the master of my painting, so therefore I can change it. There is no right or wrong in it and that gives me an enormous amount of freedom uh, that is similar to the way that I would like to lead my life. Because I paint uh, in, in this manner, I have large planes of uh, flat colour. It's a, a matter of uh, getting the form like it is now and then reducing it and reducing it and reducing it until it's uh, the essence of what I'm trying to express emotionally. It, there's a knowing, there's definitely a knowing when it is finished. I really only know when I arrive at that point. The spiritual pursuits that I've undertaken over the years and I've, I've studied different religions and I've distilled from that a way of life that is rather eclectic and a composite of many different um, religions. A lot of them talk about uh, meditation and uh, silencing the mind. Our um, thinking can become very chaotic, particularly in this day and age, where we're bombarded with the media and the and advertising and, and many, many distractions. The big planes of colour tend to represent these calm spaces of, um, of, of distilled thought. I find that um, this enables me to distill those thoughts and after a painting over and over and over, I feel that within myself I have resolved the uh, subject that I'm thinking about. So I like to have it around. Um, it's just like having a good friend around then, it, as if I've had a really good talk with this friend and uh, it represents those thoughts that probably are difficult to put into words. <laughs>